Hey guys, welcome back to 365 Days of SEO. This is Christian Bullock. Today we're talking about a technical SEO topic. And that is event tracking. So first of all, what is event tracking? So what event tracking is, it has to do with Google Analytics. And what event tracking does is it allows you to track certain actions that are taking place in your website. There are a couple of different events you can track. Things like when someone clicks on an outbound link, you can track what outbound link gets clicked, how many times it gets clicked. Form fields, so if you have a form field submission, you want to know how many people are clicking on that submit button, you can do that. Um, and that's what I find event tracking to be the most useful because uh, in some instances, with some forms, when someone clicks on sub the submission button and there's not a thank you page in place, it's really hard to tell in terms of goals, in terms of, you know, tracking back um, the actual form file out to a specific source. It's really hard to do that without event tracking. So that's, that's why I personally like setting up event tracking for the majority of websites that I like to work on. And the reason how I do that is using Google Tag Manager. Google Tag Manager version two makes it a lot easier, but I'm gonna be talking about Google Tag Manager version one for this video. With Google Tag Manager version one, um, what you need to do is set up a couple of different tags. The first one is a click or an event listener. And this is just something that's within the Google Tag Manager interface itself. And whenever you're looking to track any type of event, you need to have a listener in place. So the analytics platform can know when this um, specific tag fires that it should be listening or really looking for any clicks that are happening on the web page. After that, you want to fill out a, an event form or a link form, whatever whatever um, event that you want to track. Google Tag Manager has a specific tag in place. And you can start putting in fields like thinking in terms of being able to tell what the form is, what the form submission button, you're able to track different form fields if you have maybe a couple of different buttons. All these things you're able to input within Google Tag Manager that then tran you know, translates back into Google Analytics where when you start looking to an event tracking, you'll be able to drill down into you know, these primary, secondary dimensions and see exactly what's being clicked and by whom. So that's event tracking. That's why you'd want to use it. It's really helpful when you are looking to get some insights from actions that don't necessarily have a thank you page. Without that in place, it's really hard to see any type of goals there without event tracking. Again, my name is Christian Bullock, 365daysofseo.com. See you guys tomorrow.